Welcome, and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin our reflective time tonight, let your whole body begin to unwind. Breathe slowly and deeply. Loosen your tense muscles with every exhale. There is no rush now, no pressure. You can simply be. For the Lord your God is here. He knows about everything that you are going through right now. Heavenly Father, I hand the events of today over to you tonight. You know my struggles and the messes I have made. Thank you for the promise of your grace and forgiveness. Please continue to reassure and bless me through your word during this time of reflection. Genesis chapter 7 verses 24 and chapter 8 verse 1 say The waters flooded the earth for 150 days But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock that were with him in the ark And he sent a wind over the earth and the waters receded Lamps burn in the dark interior of the ark. The deep, woody scents mingle with the animal smells. Noah longs to feel the fresh wind on his face. It's cramped and tiresome as day rolls into day and month into month. Did Noah doubt he'd see dry land again? Did he get claustrophobic and anxious, shut up in the ark? Did he wonder when the darkness would end and he would see the sunlight once more? How good is it to read in scripture that after an impossibly long 150 days, God remembered Noah. It's not that God had forgotten his servant. It's that the time was right to finally act on his knowledge of Noah's situation. Do you feel trapped or stuck in some way? Are you wondering if God has forgotten about you? Draw near to the Lord tonight and know that he is here. He loves you and he remembers you. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine that you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list.
Welcome now into the sanctuary of your heart, where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in, and out. And in, and out. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you for always being with me. Even when the waters are rising around me, you see me, remember me, and help me. May I learn to trust you in everything. Father, please bring freedom and relief where I feel trapped. May your light dawn in the areas of darkness in my life. Genesis chapter 8 verses 15 to 17 says, Then God said to Noah, Come out of the ark, you and your wife, and your sons and their wives. Bring out every kind of living creature that is with you. The birds, the animals, and all the creatures that move along the ground, so they can multiply on the earth and be fruitful and increase in number on it. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your faithfulness to your word and to me. You are the God who brings light and life to those who trust in you. I put my faith and hope in you again tonight. Amen.